What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Speed here, and welcome back to another episode of Simigami Tensei Persona 4. It is still February 25th, and the time right now is 4 56 p.m. It has been about 5 minutes since the last part. And anyway, so we just continue. Let's see what you have to say, Nanako. When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking toward the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Sort of thing. You are tired from... Yeah, no. Moving on. Rest in your room. We can't do anything else, so... Sleep. Again? Someone! <sighs> Last time you crashed your bike and you did it again. No difference this time you're in a trash can. <sighs> Maybe you should help him. Save me. Thanks. Um. No problem. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yep. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yosuke. Nice to meet you too. Are you okay? Is your bike okay? Yeah, we only care about if your bike is okay. No, no. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> your skin seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You got that right. There's no way that's an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Completely agree. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. What? No, I'm good. I'm not sitting on your handlebars. I'll just walk. Or run. Now I can beat you to school. <laughs> Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are... You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you set up during class? Don't you have any common sense? Honestly, let's figure out who's pretty right. Every high school 
We'll never set up in class. No matter what. First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes. Philosophy. I think that's the word. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your I'll straighten up your rotten abilities. Is that it? While I'm at it. Oh, it's attitudes, isn't it? Aren't you honored? And I'll be going extremely hard on you. Yeah, that looked like you were to Annie. <laughs> and I'll be going extremely hard on any of you morons that'll Let's just say chat about the model. Got it. Now, now get your books out. You listen to the likes of intently. Your knowledge has increased. Again, I'll go over that later. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Not yet. Honestly, we're just gonna say yeah. Wow, that was fast. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Like what? The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? You can say that again. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Hmm. So why not? What about me, huh? No apologies? Uh, my trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Yes. You offered to treat me, and I took you up on that offer. And you did break her stuff. So you do owe her.
Junaz Fair Court. So this is Junaz. This is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Uh, I'm just gonna point out something I just noticed. When Yosuke was bringing the food over here, that red flag was actually a bit see-through. I never noticed that before. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. no reason to take us to your place. Your place? Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. Not so. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. The conversation began Yeah, I'm thinking that's animated, but no, that's not it. We had small talk. <laughs> it's only Moving on. a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Oh, um... Uh, I'm... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Saki? Sorry, be right back. Who's that? Is he Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. That's so. Best of luck, Yosuke. Oh, that's Saki Kunishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Another store, though. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here?
Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? Yeah. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Uh, kind of. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Yeah, he is annoying. That's not true. Huh. He's a great guy. That's not true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you had me going there, Senpai. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. It seems that way, doesn't it? The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Uh, you do realize you're blessing, right? Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? The Midnight Channel. What's that? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Interesting tale. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? I honestly have to agree, Yosuke. <gasps> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Who would? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. I have to go with you there. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Definitely. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Sheesh! You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I am saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Saddle. Well, one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight.
Another dinner along with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Nothing too much. Just got the tension. Called her the teacher. Cracked three kids' skulls open. And pretty much everything under the damn sun. So yeah, nothing much. No, you're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The wife seems to be Miss Suzu Haragi. An anchor singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's call? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. A local student who found the body? Uh, an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? I have to agree, don't you, uh... What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, aren't you really excited, Apollo? And is it me or does that look like Saki? Uh, um. The female student's face and voice are altered. Not tell us what that word is, but that word works as well. But you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Yeah, she so kind of does look like Saki. I, and can I just point out the little model bears on top of the TV with fists in their mouth? I don't know why, but those two bears are cool. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Wasn't that obvious? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. 
We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? That's none of your business, Apollo. He's way too enthusiastic. Huh? That's... Apollo's enthusiasm seems to be complexing the goal. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Kanisi, Yosuke's senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Yeah, no kidding, right, Dojima? It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. Prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Looks like he's asleep. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself. Every day is great at your Juness. Accidentally pressed the button too fast. So yeah, this is the third time I'm here was singing. And since this is the last time we'll hear this singing, I'm just going to say my opinion completely changed over the years hearing this. I'll dive into my original first reaction to this. Not go singing this. When we get into a dungeon, I feel like that's the best place to talk about that. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <clears throat> He's definitely asleep. He seems to be asleep. Jeez. Looks like we... We have a chance to save. Also, I think I'm gonna call it a pot here. And most likely call it a recording session for today. So till next time, stay golden.